President Ekufuado launched the Ghana Smart Schools project um, just some minutes ago. Here we are in the foyer of the Accra International Conference Centre where some students are seated um, with the tablets. We're told that one million of these tablets will be distributed to students in various public um, second cycle institutions and TVET um, institutions. We are also told um, that 100 smart schools have been constructed in various parts of the country and these structures are the various level of completion. Let's speak to some of the um, students here. Let's find out from them how they think this um, tablet would benefit them. Hi, what's your name? Isabella. Uh, it's a good initiative. It's, like I said, it's education without boundaries. Um, I think it's a nice idea the government is trying to put to enforce because come, um, during pandemic, now Ghana was trying to get used to the whole e-learning thing. But thanks to this good initiative, we can actually start that. So come pandemic, come tsunami, come flood, we can actually have e-learning. Learning without boundaries, yes. Okay, great. I like that. Thank you. Okay, so um, she's from Archmore to school. Um, let's speak to another student. Um, hi, what's your name? My name is Wise Asari. Wise Asari. Wise, you've been using um, this tablet for some time now. What do you think are the benefits of this tablet? Uh, it helps us. It makes learning easier and it reduces the carrying of books to class. I'm Mariam. Hamza Adam It makes. Um, learning easier and faster and also it improves academic performance yeah. thank you okay i'm um, from which school so applied technology institutes okay. applied technology institute so you just had that from a student from applied technology institute i have some students from attc um hi what's your name laurentia 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 what what's your name darkum laurentia darkum tell me what do you think is the benefit of this tablet you've used it and you are a student, how do you think it's going to help? Um, it's going to help me in so many ways. When a teacher is not in a class, I can use it to learn all alone, yeah. And it can really help me through my studies, yeah. So what and what do you have on there? Um, I have um, past, we have past questions on the tablet. While the teacher is not in a class, you can use the past questions to learn, yeah. So sure, thank you. Okay, so you just have from a student from ATTC. You're also from Applied Technology? Opportunity Industrialization Technical Institute. Industrialization Technical Institute. Okay, what's your name? Alexander Tete. Alexander. Okay, tell me, how do you think this tablet is going to help? Well, um, it makes learning much easier and faster, and it connects you to um, your teacher very easily. It makes you to also practice with past questions and answers. Dr. Mahmoud Abadi, the Vice President, um, says that this project will enable Ghanaian students actively take part in the fourth industrial revolution. He's been speaking here at the Accra International Conference Center. So when I was discussing with the president and we we're talking about things that we were doing in Ghana, and I mentioned to the president of Estonia that Ghana is going to be uh, implementing a one student, one tablet policy in our senior high schools. He was taken a little aback and then told me that they have also thought about it in Estonia, but they have not yet been able to do it. And so he made a joke that then they will have to come to Ghana and learn about how we have done it. And I, am, I was very, very pleased uh, about, therefore it, took, it told me that Ghana in doing this is really at the forefront of digitalization in our senior high schools and providing all of you, the students, the tools to be part of the fourth industrial revolution. As the Minister for Education said, you know, we missed the first, second, and the third industrial revolutions. We are now in the fourth industrial revolution. President Kufuado has also been touting his government's achievements with the free senior high school um, policy. He says the new Ghana Smart Schools project will modernize the education sector. Again, I have on a previous occasion 
started my administration's monumental strides in the digitalization agenda and singled out for praise the leadership role of my excellent and indefatigable vice president. <laughs> Dr. Mohamedou Baumia, the man all of us, including even his enemies in the MDC, called Dr. Digitalization. In furtherance of our digitalization agenda, in the education sector, government is proceeding with plans to distribute 1.3 million educational tablets to students in senior high schools. That is one student per tablet under the Ghana Smart Schools project. The tablets are fitted with digital contents to aid research, teaching, and learning. At the tertiary level, government plans to provide, at a discounted price, tablets and laptops to students and lecturers to facilitate academic work. <laughs> Though largely successful, government continues to seek innovative ways to boost further the free SHS policy. Government is convinced that the next phase of free SHS enhancement will be propelled by digitalization. This will allow a seamless online and offline teaching and learning experience. Indeed, the enhanced free SHS school will be environmentally friendly, boost academic performance, fitted with interactive displays, interactive learning and increased productivity, which is what has given birth to the Ghana Smart Schools project. The project seeks to deepen the application of IT in teaching and learning at the second cycle level. It will ultimately enhance the performance of students and prepare them better for higher learning and the competitive careers in future. The other component of the Ghana Smart School project is the provision of modernized infrastructure. Government intends to build 100 smart schools across the country. The first 30 of these will be completed this year, and the remaining 70 expected to be completed in the next two years. So we've heard from the um, students, we have some teachers here right now. Let's interact with them also, find out from them what they make of the Ghana Smart Schools project. Um, so what's your name? I'm Solomon Neti. Solomon Neti, yeah. Okay. And then what's your name? I'm Prince Walker. I'm a Pando. Okay, you're a teacher? Methodist Girls High School. If you're a Tell us, what do you make of the Ghana Smart Schools project? And how is it going to help and facilitate the work? Yeah. Um, with the yes. introduction of these tablets, I think it will go a long way by enhancing the teaching and learning processes. Earlier last year, somewhere Ju July last year, I went for a program on Minecraft education where game will be used in teaching a concept. So we, throughout, when you are playing the game Minecraft, it gives you the opportunity to see the raw simulation of events. So you are talking about blood circulation. And then the students just imagine those things on textbook. But when you are playing the game, it indicates over there. So with this tablet, if you get the tablet and it's found inside, it means that uh, that learner can have access to that game on the tablet. So I think it will. Okay. Interesting. Um, what, what do you also think? How is this going to help you? All right. So we are in the 21st century. So as a 21st century teacher and then a 21st century learner, these educational policies and interventions are key to our development and it aids learning. Because when you go to the class, you mention a concept talking about maybe acid, bases, and salt, and students will want to find out immediately uh, what contents are there in the uh, everyday items they use. 
quickly they can Google and find out, and that will make the lesson very interesting. So a student can tell, oh, even palm oil contains palmitic acid. Maybe, you know, uh, palm wine contains some, you know, acetic acid and all of that. That will help the student to even understand a whole lot of things, even about themselves. Even about them themselves, because I, I teach in a girl's school, you understand? So making them understand the importance of lactic acid here and there will go a long way to, you know, help teaching and learning. And it makes research very easy. So the teacher wouldn't have to talk much, but when you even put them in groups, and with, and then with this teacher learning resource given to them, they'll be able to find out things themselves and which will make the teaching process very easy. Oh, I'm sorry, what's your name? So I'm um, Pastor Fori William Esedu. Oh, hey. Teacher what? I teach at St. James Senior High and Seminary in Sunyani. Remember, the sound is oh. How do you think this tablet is going to help your students? Um, just like my colleagues have said, um, I think today learning has moved from teacher-centeredness to becoming student-centered. And if such initiative is really giving all the necessary tools it needs, children are going to, or students are going to have the um, energy to study on their own, do the research on their own, find out on their own. And that means that um, they will be able to um, take the whole attitude of learning by themselves. And in this way, it takes a chunk where it looks like teachers are always pouring knowledge into students, into an area where children are becoming, you know, inquirers of knowledge by themselves. And we believe that that is where the 20, 21st century is surging towards. And everyone should get on board. And I think that it's a very laudable initiative. It must not be politicized. We must not downplay it. We must give it all the necessary energies so that children can learn on their own. And I believe that it's going to help our nation develop and develop real well. Are you also happy about the past questions, you know, on the tablets that students can ask us? Yes, I'm very much enthused about it. You know, there has been this long-standing policy that smartphones or phones are not allowed in our secondary schools. So this being a government intervention would really, you know, put an end to all of that. Where students will have a teaching learning resource, which is allowed, legally allowed. And so every student will be able to assess past questions and it will make the teaching and learning process very easy.